Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, it's been kind of bleh today. One of those days where you, you wake up and at first everything's great. You, you know, well, okay, a little bit of morning stiffness and soreness and whatnot, but you get some morning coffee and you get into the swing of doing what you're going to be doing and you're all set up and just anticipating, looking forward to getting some stuff done and then getting some other stuff done and so on. And among the stuff getting done would have been, would have been a Hermitcraft episode for today. Uh, but as I was gearing up for that and walking around in the world and uh, on the server and figuring out what I was going to do and how and so forth, uh, then it hit. A huge, great, big, hairy ball of this. That's the best way I can describe it. And it's just all of a sudden I didn't feel so good. And there was some question as to whether or not I would be able to keep my recent meal my most recent meal, like from last, last night, and uh, there was also a question as to just exactly how full of it I was, and did I really want to find out? And then all of a sudden, well, you know how it is, you spend 20 minutes on the throne and you lose 10 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful time, uh, I tell you, it really is. Makes me wish all the more strongly for the weather to be sufficiently warm for me to open the house for ventilation. Yeah. On that note, I have a point of curiosity. Why is it that in most house designs, the bathroom is the one room that gets the least ventilation? when it is clearly the room that needs it the most. Why is that? <laughs> I have never understood why that is, but it's true. Most bathrooms, they're small. They've got a little teeny window in the wall over the bathtub or something like that, you know? And uh, there, there's no ventilation. The window is not intended to actually open. It's just there, you know? And uh, it, it's, it's like that. And that's the one room that needs ventilation more than any other. I mean, seriously. But, yeah. As a result of all that, I spent most of today asleep. You know, I, I know when to, you know, I know my limits. You know, I don't know a whole lot of things about a whole lot of things, but I do know my own limits. And, uh, when I have a morning like that, it's time to pack it in and say, okay, enough of this noise, I'm going to sleep. And I proceeded to sleep most of the day. And I'm thinking maybe now I might be in a shape where I can actually get done the things that I wanted to get done this morning. In a better late than never kind of sense. So what I had intended for this morning will end up being tomorrow morning. Again, better late than never. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to have it so that I've got not only a hermit craft, but a hermit skies. That would be cool. Yeah. In the meanwhile, in other news, in the vague news department, in the vague news department, we have the fact that I am 50% of the way towards one goal. I am 15% of the way towards a second goal and 10% of the way towards a third goal. How about that? <laughs> so progress is being made. And uh, two of those goals are something that I sh are, are basically things that I'm doing because the third item is something that uh, well, I need to keep busy. 
And so in the process of keeping busy, I'm doing these other things. And that's having me actually be fairly productive. And that's today's news in the vague news department. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here. Mr. Chen falls